President Xi said Guangdong has always been the forerunner and pilot site for reform and opening up, and it has been playing an important role in the process of modernization. He fully acknowledged Guangdong's efforts over the past five years and encouraged them to grow the province through reform and innovation, so it can play a leading role in China's bid to build a high-quality, open and modern economy. Development is the first priority. Talent serves as the first resource, and creativity is the first driving force. China will not become truly strong if we do not follow the way of creative development, and our old driving forces cannot successfully convert to new ones. China must rely on creativity to become strong, and creativity comes from talent. President Xi also stressed that Guangdong should promote opening up with a broader vision, higher goals and stronger actions. He said the province needs to speed up building a higher level and open economy to actively participate in the Belt and Road Initiative. He encouraged officials to fully utilize the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and to make it a world-class mega-region. In addition, he stressed the importance of implementing effective social governance and order. He said it was important to increase people's sense of gain, happiness and security and to ensure they live in a more fulfilled, secure and sustainable environment. The Communist Party of China is committed to making people happy. We work on whichever areas that our people feel unhappy and unsatisfied, and we spare no efforts in resolving the problems of our people. The Chinese president also said he was fully behind the draft constitutional amendment as it was a strategic decision made by the Communist Party of China to advance the rule of law and upgrade the country's governance systems and capabilities under the circumstances of the new era. He said the process of making the draft constitutional amendments have fully demonstrated the spirit of democracy and common will of the people. Rory Cohn, CGTN.